just filmed this whole video. I just filmed the whole video and I didn't record the audio. Ugh. Sorry I went away for so long. I got really sick and then I went on holiday to see my family in Trinidad and Tobago. I will have an 168 hours of that up as soon as I can. I remember so clearly in school people saying, you've changed. It was kind of a derogatory way of telling someone that they didn't like what they were doing at the moment. I remember being told it by a friend when I was 13. She kind of looked at me and was like, Lucy, being real, like you have changed. It's meant to make you feel like you're, you're not as good as you once were. Like you've gone down in their esteem. But it's so stupid of an argument because it is so important to change. And so if you're not progressing, then what's the point in life? <laughs> Where's your wisdom coming from? The so change is very important. Don't be afraid of change. If someone tells you you've changed, fuck them. So my last six or seven or eight, oh my God, it's been like nine months. Fuck. So my last nine months have been a huge, huge state of flux and a huge state of change. And I feel like inside I've changed a lot. However, the rest of me hasn't quite caught up yet. This is quite a spacey like idea here, so hear me out. So on a superficial level, I feel like the way I look doesn't really reflect who I am at the moment. So like my hair doesn't look like how I feel, like my makeup doesn't look like how I feel, my clothing doesn't look like how I feel and how I, how I am inside. You know how Savannah just changed one day and everyone went, oh, you've changed, but really she kind of became herself. I feel like I need to physically become myself. And then on a deeper level, I feel like whilst my internally I know myself so much better than I did eight months ago, let's say, I haven't caught up in terms of what I'm doing and how I'm acting on how I feel. So I expected my life to progress a bit faster. I expected to be living somewhere on my own by now. I expected to be making more videos by now, videos in particular. But the thing is, I'm finding that my time is being like wasted on things like commuting up to London and I'm really not getting the most out of my time and that's really frustrating because it's meaning that I can't quite progress at the rate I want to. So whilst I feel internally like cool, I feel kind of at peace with myself right now, the rest of me is is still catching up and it's really weird having this feeling like, like you want things to progress really fast. It's a weird impatience. And it was definitely in part triggered by falling out with my friends because um, when you leave a clique, uh, your clique kind of, when you're in it, shapes you as a person a lot. So you have the same kind of values as them, the same kind of fashion style. Uh, you eat the same food as them, even if you live with them. And I feel like I've totally like become more myself since that ended. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before online, but when I kind of reevaluated and got to know myself better, I realized what I value in friendships a lot more. And I've never been someone um, to have a small group of friends. I've always had lots of good friends and lots of closer friends. Um, I've always had a huge social circle. And as all of this stuff's been happening, I've been realizing like, oh shit, there are so many people that I don't like as much as I thought I did because they don't, um, they, they blatantly disregard some of these things that I think are really important parts of, of being a person, a good person. Like I recently found out that some of my friends use racial slurs and instantly that just knocks you off my list. Also, I had this epiphany a couple of months ago where I realized that I built so many of my relationships during my university time off alcohol and you can't build a successful relationship off alcohol. You don't know them that well. If every time you see each other, you're getting drunk, you're seeing a kind of exaggerated a not as good version of them all the time. So you're seeing a more reckless version of them, a more emotional version, a more aggressive version, um, a more like flaky, like a uh, uh, spontaneous version, or maybe just an asshole. <laughs> like I'm not very nice when I drink that much. And I have noticed that people who know me through alcohol think I'm like a fun, crazy, loud, not crazy loud, but like fun, loud, really chatty, uh, quite reckless, quite like, fuck it, it's all fine. I'm kind of like that, but not really. And then people who got to know me without alcohol and then got to know me with alcohol would have thought I'd change in a very negative way because I am not very nice, I don't think, when I drink and I am really flaky and unpredictable and I run away. I'm a liability. 
I'm such a liability when I drink. So I've just realized that in future, I cannot build my relationships around alcohol. And I notice as well that when I meet up with old school friends, um, the ones I have the strongest and best relationships with are the ones where we meet up and we don't drink. So we go for a meal or we go for coffee. Like those are the best relationships. Or we just hang out in a house, you know, that works as well. So it's kind of weird to think that I've built my foundations on incredibly shaky ground for the past two years in terms of friends. And I'm gonna have to rebuild a lot of those probably. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I don't feel like myself. I feel weird. I'm working on it. I wanna make more vids. This has been one of those videos where I'm not quite sure what I wanted to get out of it. And I didn't sit down with the plan. But yeah, I'm glad I've got it off my chest. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this here. Um, let me know what you think in the comments because this is, this is a lot to think about. Like, have you lost friends? How did you deal with it? Have you built your relationships on alcohol? There's so many thoughts here. Have you changed? Like, have you ever felt like your body's not caught up with your brain? Or that your life hasn't caught up with your brain? Yeah. I am not having a quarter life crisis. It's just me. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Do forgive me, but I'm absolutely starving. So I've just started eating. Um, a grosh pouch though, not bomb. The other day, Dodie tweeted a tweet that basically said, there's a big mm, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs>